You need high quality leads for your business today. Well, generating high quality leads is possible with YouTube ads. In this video, we're gonna break down different strategies that you can apply right now so you can generate leads for your business. Let's get right into it. Andres here, lead me a buyer from Links Digital. Today, we're gonna to talk about lead generation with YouTube ads, okay? So that's one of my favorite topics, so I'm just gonna be very passionate about this, and I'm gonna break down different strategies you could apply right now. Usually, when we talk about good quality leads, we don't usually hear things like, oh yeah, you should do YouTube ads. We tend to start hearing things like, hey, start doing TikTok ads, start doing uh, Instagram, Facebook, maybe even doing Google search, or even an organic way to generate leads. You don't have to just rely on Facebook ads, TikTok ads. Don't get me wrong, those are great platforms and I'm already starting to see the benefit of TikTok ads. We've been testing a lot of offers that we've been doing YouTube ads with, but in this particular video, we're gonna break down some YouTube ad strategies that you can apply and also funnel strategies more so than YouTube ads so you can start generating leads that will in the long run turn into customers for your business and give you a return on investment because at the end of the day what good is it if you generate a dollar lead or five dollar leads two dollar leads but you're not getting anything back from them in the long run right so let's get right into this there are certain niches and certain business models that are very aligned to generating leads in the front end, right, at scale. That way in the back end, you rely a lot on your email drip sequences, your remarketing, right? Not just through email marketing, but through uh, advertising on Facebook, Instagram, on YouTube. In the past, we've generated over 40,000, 50,000 leads, for example, for a particular account in a specific amount of time, I'm not just talking about a year, but like a month, two months, uh, where our leads cost were like 80 cents, right? Now, understandable, there are different aspects that can affect let's say the performance one of those could be geographic specific so if you're targeting people in brazil or in latin america your lead costs will be much lower right your cost per acquisition is much lower than if you're targeting somebody in the us for example so when we talk about funnel strategy for generating leads with youtube there are different ways that you can go about this, right? So we have an e-commerce niche, for example, generating leads in the front end. We do a lead generation campaign where our client is offering a specific guide. You know, it's like a 50 plus uh, you know, guide on being healthy, right? On being healthier uh, and improving, you know, your blood circulation, for example. And this is our, the front end offer, a lead magnet offer, where people are signing up for this and you know we're seeing lead costs around seven dollars seven eight dollars so it's not that cheap and if you you know maybe take things like on facebook where you may be getting leads for two dollars three dollars but with this offer is it's working on the on the front end and back end because this lead magnet drives people then to an upsell right of the specific product so that offsets a lot of these initial you know cost per acquisition uh, because they have that system set up where they download the guide and then they're being redirected to an upsell and you know obviously not everybody buys but you can imagine there's a percentage of people that do buy and we can see week over week the progression of how that lifetime value increases and the ROAS increases for that particular let's say campaign that's been running and you know we've been getting consistent leads for seven eight dollars and the ROAS it may be 1.3 X ROAS during this time period but as we look at two months you know, over time, we realize that the, the 1.3x return is now, you know, closer to 1.8, 1.9. And now you're getting into profitability zone for, for that particular account. So that is one example is, you know, you offer up a, a magnet, lead magnet, right? Like we call it uh, on the front end. Again, this is for, for certain products. Uh, something, sometimes it may not work, but for other e-commerce niche, e-commerce niches, it can definitely work where you're getting them you know to an upsell and you're basically offsetting some of those costs so that's one way they can do it another way would be doing free trials right so we're, for example onboarding a client right now that offers up uh, some courses online you know in a specific niche so they are offering a 14 day free trial sometimes it's be a seven day so those are things that we can split test to see what people are more inclined to signing up obviously 14 days sounds like a, a big deal so most people would probably take up on that offer and it's already proven on, on Facebook side so this is a perfect example 
of a lead gen machine that you can create with YouTube ads on the front end, right? You're basically getting people on the front end with YouTube ads to sign up for this trial. Now, again, you might say, oh, but you know, people are signing up and my my lead costs are four or five dollars. How can I make this profitable? Well, you know, that's where you need to look at your retaining percentage, right? How much of these people are, are staying or are converting into a customer at the end of their 14 day trial. So if you realize, hey, you have a 14 day trial and your renewal rate is 80% over 80%, then you basically do the math there, right? Because if that's somebody that's paying $45 per month and they're maintaining for over a year, right? That's over $500, a lifetime value for that particular customer. And let's say it costs you only $10 to acquire them or $5. So the lead costs would, are kind of irrelevant at that point. If you're profitable, you're profitable. So it's you can pay $15 for a lead or $2, but sure, you would want the lowest cost per acquisition by all means, but you're still making money. And that's kind of like the, what we're trying to uh, explain here is with lead gen, you can get quality leads in the door. And you know I'm gonna break down different strategies from a media buying standpoint. But one thing is understand your model, understand your funnel strategy of how you can actually get leads in the front end you have an irresistible offer it's a free trial to you know one of the top uh, courses online about well-being for example then people are gonna jump on it as long as you're targeting the right individual from a targeting perspective then you can do so that is one way that we've been able to do it so we're gonna dive right into my screen here you're gonna see the Google Ads dashboard this is one of our clients right now you can see right now we're looking at the hiros tracking you can see that the lead costs are really not the best for this particular account but in reality it's does something that doesn't really matter for this particular account because it's still generating the sales that we need and the calls that we need at the at the KPI that we need right so uh, the lead cost in hand is not as much uh, as an influence factor here for this account to actually perform well, um, but it is quality leads, right? You can see from the click perspective, it's 15%, which is quite decent. And, and this is just an example of how we can generate these, these high quality leads is, you know, you wanna understand your customer avatar, right? And you wanna be able to target the specific demographic that you're looking for. And this is all you said, YouTube ads, there's some branded search campaigns here, but they're all YouTube ads uh, generally generating these leads. Uh, so you can see that it is possible. It is possible to generate high quality leads with YouTube. You just need to dial in the demographic. You know, this is for example, one of the best campaigns that we have here is the control campaign. You wanna to go to audiences. You wanna see what audiences are providing best cost per conversion and, and go by that. If you already have an idea, if you already have a demographic that was proven, let's say on the Facebook side, that is getting you the lowest cost per lead, but it, it's actually a decent cost per it's not cheap leads, it's like a low cost per lead, but it's like high quality one, then you can actually do that. You can go in here and, and check out the demographic, the age range. So you can see for this particular account, we have a pretty open demographic, but if we filter by conversions, you know, you know the, the 18 to 24, for example, has the highest conversions. And then there's the 25 to 34, 35 to 44. So those are the different data points that you want to analyze. In this particular case, we haven't had any really complaints about, uh, you know, low quality leads per se. But, uh, you know, in some cases, you might want to exclude the 18 to 24 year olds. And that way you can influence the quality of it. Okay, you can influence the quality. You can also go for, you know, the household income as well. You know, you can browse through. You can see that, you know, in terms of cost here, you can actually filter by the cost per conversion. And there you go. So you can see that the, the highest cost per conversion is actually the top 10%. Now, even though it might be the highest cost per conversion for this account, this is something that's bringing you more sales, right? And we can do a direct correlation with a client with this. For example, the one with the cheapest low the cost per conversion is the 41 to 50 percent, right? So it, it doesn't make sense. So some, some, sometimes the correlation is very evident here when we target maybe the, you know the lower income, you, you'll see the lowest cost per conversion, and you know they may not be the leads that are let's say converting well on the sales side, but they're still nevertheless converting. But maybe you want to go increase let's say your goalposts a little bit, your KPIs, and say hey I'm okay with getting an, 
$80 or you know, $60 cost per conversion as long as these people are converting down in the funnel, right? So it might make sense to say, you know what, let me just, I just wanna target the top 30% and have the, the average here, you can see the average, here might be around like $55, right? Cost per conversion on the top 30%. So those are the things that you want to analyze as you know, you're know you doing testing for lead gen on uh, your YouTube account for, uh, for your funnel. Okay, so this is just another example. Uh, we're looking inside of Wicked Reports for one of our uh, client accounts. Uh, this is just lead gen. Um, it's the, we're just filtering by the lead gen campaign that we've been running for this uh, account. And you know, you'll be able to see that the lead cost for this is really not the, the cheapest as well, but these are gaining sales, right? So it's a lead gen campaign where they go in and, and sign up for a, an ebook, essentially or like a guide, and they have the opportunity to actually buy the product that they sell. And it, it's, it is a recurring product. So you know, their lifetime value is around $300, for example, per person right yearly so you know even though you see here that it might be like okay it's less than one percent you know ideally we want to get it get this to over one percent but it's still in the optimization phase so we're not that far away you know we spent thirteen thousand and the revenue collected is ten thousand one hundred eighty three but you can see it's 139 sales from 499 leads so so that's a 28 percent right? That's a 28% lead to sale conversion rate, which is pretty good. And again, it's a recurring product, good lifetime value. So it, it may not make sense right now. It may see, oh, but you're, you know, it's not profitable, but in the long run, it will become profitable, right? So this is just, you know, some of the examples, you know, you see these are all YouTube ads and the main goal is to get them to sign up for this guide that helps them on, you know, talk about blood circulation, improving that. And obviously it is a kind of a product relating to that. So without divulging too much information, but there you have it. I mean, this is just kind of showing you guys the proof that this, it is possible to create high quality lead gens that actually generate sales and not just kind of become stale within your database or your CRM. So that's it guys. You can get high quality lead gen with YouTube ads. You just simply need to have different things in place, understand your funnel, uh, your model and how you want to nurture these leads. If you have a, a nice email drip that can nurture these leads provide value and as well get them to convert and, and buy your product and afterwards then you're going to have great success at scaling your youtube ads uh, for generating high quality leads so thanks again for watching you can go ahead and click the like button comment below hit subscribe turn on your notifications to get notified once we drop some more youtube ad bombs so we'll see you on the next one